what's up you guys and welcome back hopefully you can hear me okay i still got my helmet on i don't really want to take it off and waste any time here at the gas pump it is officially 1 38 a.m we're gonna get out on this bike here i know it's an odd time of night to be taken off on the bike but we're gonna be doing the Iron Butt Saddle Sore 1000 today. And I figured it would be a good time to get started now because I'm a night shifter, man. This is usually when I'm up anyway, so being up for 24 hours at this point isn't going to uh, hurt anything. I just stopped here at my first stop, filled up the bike. Too pretty thirsty, looks like 22 bucks. That's the most I've ever put into my bike to this point the mileage here 35,834 is my beginning mileage so I already got my receipt printed I'm going to ride from here down to the tail of the dragon which is 580 miles I want to say and then back up I'm going to hit the dragon and then ride back up a different route it's like 469 I don't know I don't I can't remember the exact mileage but it ends up uh, being around um, 1048 miles total um, I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit more with the stops and everything but I plan on doing that in a day so I have until now 140 I have until uh, 137 or 138 tomorrow morning so I'm taking you guys with me let's go First gas stop here. It is uh, 141 miles away from where I started. So I left at 140. It is now 416. So not quite three hours. Um, this is a very hard first leg of the trip. Indiana roads are beating the shit out of me. There's so much construction. That was the hardest part about getting down to where I'm at now. I'm in Bloomfield, Indiana. So from Greentown to Bloomfield, um, it's about 141 miles. So 141 miles in um, not quite three hours. So not too bad. Had to uh, stop and put my sleeves on, but we're gonna keep on trucking here. I'm gonna fill up and move on. finally in Kentucky now uh, sun's coming up as you can see got a little bit chilly there but the, the second leg way better than the first once I got on 69 south it was smooth sailing no more construction none of that crap that I dealt with in Indiana so we're about 265 miles in right now and uh, just about 400 or 400 four hours in 
as well so I think we're making pretty decent time um, as long as I keep up doing what I'm doing I think I should be able to make it pretty decently but um, that last uh, gas station didn't print my receipt and uh, I've wasted a lot of time probably about 20 minutes or so waiting on them to get me a receipt excuse me from inside so as long as I don't get uh, any more hiccups like that or any more construction I think I ought to be okay so let's get back to it <laughs> stop number three has been pretty interesting I was trying to find some sunscreen because I had to take some layers off here it's getting sunny out and the closest place was Home Depot so took a shot in the dark they don't have it here so I'm just gonna keep moving if I get sunburnt it's the price to pay I guess I'll find it at the next one but I'm 183 miles away from the tail of the dragon so talk to you guys when we get there shop here at the top of the tail of the dragon as hot as hell I'm sweating to death out here but just got some gas here got a drink put my sticker up and I'm getting ready to hop on to the dragon here it's gonna be a separate video this video is gonna be for my uh, iron butt and then there's gonna be a separate video moto vlog for the dragon so this is stop number five, and I'll pick up with you guys when I leave the Dragon. All right, I've had my fun down here at the Dragon. Gonna go grab something to drink real quick and then get my ass back up to Indiana. I got about 10 hours to do a seven hour trip. It might be pushing it, so I don't know. Maybe uh, the stops will be a lot quicker this time. Who knows? See you guys on the road. Stop number seven. We're at Bucky's, baby. Proceed to the route. Richmond, Kentucky. Uh, I was miserable there for a while. These last three, 400 miles have been very hard. The sun's been beating down on me. But as you can see, I went through a little rain. I've never, ever been so grateful to ride through rain. As soon as that rain hit me, I was rejoicing. I could have ridden for another 500 miles probably. It felt so good. But stop number seven says we have 266 miles to go. It looks like I'll be back at stop number one uh, maybe two hours before uh, schedule so I'm gonna go into Bucky's check it out get something to drink get back out on the road you guys also this sundowner seat right here anybody out there that has a soft tail and thinks that you can't tour with your soft tail 
get you that sundowner seat. This thing, I cannot say enough good things about it. I am not sore in the least, not sore at all. Fatigued, highly, just because it's a rough day. You know, a lot of miles, banging a lot of miles out at once. But this seat, phenomenal. See you guys out there. Just made it to my last stop here. Final stop, look at that. And I still have like an hour and 30 minutes to spare. Ending mileage, 36876. I don't know if, I don't know if I can see that. I'm using my phone right now, the GoPros are dead. Look at that thing. She's the real star of the show today, not me. All I did was twist the throttle, she did all the work. She did real good for me. What a hell of a long day. I can't imagine how rough I look right now. Hardly ever have I ever been actually road weary from a bike ride, but today was a long day. Man, looks like I got some bloodshot eyes going here. I'm about 12 blocks away from my house too and I'm so tired right now I do not even want to ride that 12 blocks to get home but she's done so I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking it out thanks for riding with me and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one thank you